Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask Excite. I'm Tim Bushnell with Expert Cytometry, and today's question comes from Min. And Min asks, can you tell me about the different filters inside a flow cytometer? Now, that's a great question, Min, and it's an important piece of information that you need to know to determine where your fluorochromes of interest are going to be measured on your system, or even if you can measure the fluorochrome that you want to use on your flow cytometer. Now, we have three major classes of filters that we use. We use a long pass, a short pass, and a band pass. The long pass filter, typically LP in a number, like LP500, would represent a filter where light of above 500 nanometers would be allowed to pass through. A short pass, again, SP500, would be a filter where light below 500 nanometers would be allowed to pass through. It gets a little bit confusing with a band pass filter, typically labeled BP with one number slash and another number. Sometimes the BP is left off. So, for example, a BP530-30 means centered at 530 nanometers with a 30 nanometer window, or plus 15 and minus 15 nanometers is the light that will go through. So a 530-30 bandpass filter will allow light to go through between 515 and 545 nanometers. Knowing that filter and knowing that range will allow you to determine what fluorochrome can be measured by the detector, and where you'll be able to see your marker of interest, um, your fluorochrome of interest. So thanks for your question, Min. I hope that helped. And remember, if you have more questions, go to getflowtraining.com to learn more about expert cytometry. And if you have a question you want answered here, send it to askexcite at expertcytometry.com. Thanks for listening to another Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to stay tuned here for your best practices in flow cytometry with Tim and Team Excite.